Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and today I want to answer a question that people ask sometimes. How do I make sure that my application does some action within certain duration? How do I make sure, for example, when I load the app, that the loading data element goes away in less than I don't know, two seconds? So let's look at this. First, we have to simulate loading of data that takes different amount of time. So for this, I'm going to intercept the load of to-dos. I'm going to provide a stub with a fixture, so which will load two items from this fixture JSON file. And I'm going to delay the response by a random duration, from second to almost two seconds using the load-random method. Okay, so every time we visit, the loading indicator should appear, and then it should disappear. And this is what happens. Appears, disappears. Perfect. So what's the duration between those two commands, loading should be visible and loading should not be visible. One thing we can check first is how long does it take and put the upper limit on it, right? We can say retry an assertion, the loading element should not be visible for up to two seconds. So we're putting an upper bound on how long this can take. This works, for example, if we set a one second timeout, then it would fail. We still don't know how long it actually took. We only know that timed out retrying after one second, right? The command is timed out. So it's not the most explicit way of checking how long a command takes in Cypress. We actually have to time it. So in order for us to time it, remember, this data on timestamps comes from the application, which means we have to use that then callbacks. So here's what I will do. When should we start timing? When this Assertion, loading element is visible, completes. We'll say then. And now we can say started equals and get a timestamp. Of course, we need this variable, so I'll say let's start it. Okay. So this is just taking a timestamp when the loading element appears, when it's visible. Okay, so when should we stop? Well, after it becomes invisible. So we let it run its course. Then we'll take another timestamp after the element, ele element goes away. We can use the same logic. At this point, we can just declare a local variable. So finished. Now we can say elapsed and it's finished minus started. I like being very explicit. And now we can check. For example, we can expect elapsed time to be less than 2000 milliseconds. Right? And the second argument is always a message. So Loading takes less, for example. Okay, and notice how explicit it is. We're visiting the page, the loading indicator becomes visible. We take the timestamp, start it. Then the loading indicator is no longer visible. We take a second timestamp, compute the elapsed, and now we have explicit assertion that loading takes less than two seconds. Expected 1283 milliseconds to be below 2000. Now it's slightly different because we have random loading delay. But this is how you time how long a different part of your test or individual command takes. 